Hi, it's Pavel with another daily uh, coding homework. This time it's a C sharp problem, uh, C sharp uh, project. Well, it's not really a project; it's an exercise uh, from chapter five, exercise number seventeen from uh, from the book uh, C sharp two thousand twelve: How to Program. And this is a simple program that uh, requires uh, to calculate a gas mileage. You can read the uh, description of, of the problem uh, on the screen. I already read it, and I'm ready to code. So, we need uh, uh, basically a few variables. So we need an uh, integer for um, miles driven as well as for the uh, gallons used. I'm setting up as integer because that's what the uh, description of the problem said. And it is, I believe, one driver has a train, ta -ta -ta. all that, all that. Ah, here, both as integer. Took me a longer than it's gonna take me to code this thing. Anyway, so we have this. Um, now the mileage will be a double because it has to be floating point. Uh, I prefer double. I just prefer it. It's, uh, to me, it's easier to deal with. And I'll initialize it to zero. Uh, we will need. Uh, since this is going to be in a loop until a user decides to stop entering numbers, we will need uh, some kind of a uh, sum, a total of all mileage of all miles driven that, ha that have been uh, entered into the program. So that would be um, I don't know. It's gonna be an integer because it will calculate the miles driven, which are integers. So it's gonna be some miles initialized to zero. And the same with the gallons. Um, gallons equals zero. Now we need a a, a way to uh, instruct the user to quit the program or to quit the uh, quit entering the uh, values. Uh, it was again somewhere in here. Mm. The app should calculate and display the miles per gallon obtained for each thankful and display the combined miles per gallon up obtained for all thankfuls up to this point. All right, so uh, some kind of a sentinel. I'll just make a string, uh, quit, and I'll initialize it, I don't know, let's say two, two, one, doesn't really matter. And, um, since this is gonna be, I'm thinking about how it's gonna be output. All right, uh, the output will be just combined numbers, but uh, we can, uh, like, we are, we are calculating each uh, trip. So uh, I need some kind of a counter uh, that will cal uh, add all the trips together. Uh, we'll remember which trip is being uh, entered. Mm, I think that's all. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Let's, let's just do uh, a simple while loop, while, and we'll do the quit, while well, quit. Uh, let's say it's not equal to uh, zero. Well, it's not a number zero, it's a string zero. In other words, until user presses zero uh, when uh, asked if he wants to continue, until that happens, we will be looping and entering uh, more numbers. And we will ask the user for some input. So console, uh, right line, uh, whatever, please enter miles driven for the trip number 
and this is where the counter will be. So this way, uh, each time this message is displayed, counter will be increased by one. So it will say enter uh, the miles driven for the trip number one, then number two, and number three, and so forth. It's initialized to one to begin with because that's the least that can be uh, entered. And we will assign whatever the user will enter into miles driven equal. Now the user will enter a string, but we have to convert it to uh, uh, to integer int thirty two and console that read line. Yeah, I forgot these. Oh, jeez. Now ah, it's moving all over the place. There, yeah, that's better. All right, now we uh, do the same thing with the uh, with the miles, and we will uh, just copy paste it. Is enter uh, gallons used. Uh, gallons used for the trip. Yeah, we can leave the counter and all that. And this is not gonna be miles driven, but it's gonna be gallons used. Okay, now we can uh, actually perform the calculation and uh, we will store it in the sum miles variable and sum gallons variable because again, we will be entering more than one trip. Sum miles plus equals miles driven and some gallons plus equals uh, gallons used and now uh, at this point we will ask the user whether he wants to enter numbers for another trip so we will instruct it instruct the user a simple console message uh, press let's say zero yeah press zero because we have a until quit equals zero to stop entering uh, values or any key to continue there The way it is set up is basically, uh, I could say, you know, press uh, number zero uh, to stop or number one to continue. This way, since it is, it is a string, whatever, if, this, uh, if the quit does not equal the string zero, any other key that, will, that the user will press uh, is going to be considered to it's now zero, obviously, and uh, the program will continue to loop. Now we will have to, of course, sketch the input. So we'll uh, quit equals console dot read line. That's why I made it a string. It's just easier than dealing with the, uh, you know, integers like actual numbers, and we don't need that. This obviously there are other ways to do this. Probably there's, there's better ways to do it too, but this is good enough for uh, for this exercise. Okay, so uh, we have that, and uh, after all the trips were entered, we can simply uh, calculate the final mileage, which is uh, a mileage is supposed to be a double, and uh, so we have to convert one of the uh, values to double otherwise it would be uh, just rounded to the integers so uh, some uh, miles yes some miles divided by gallons yes will give you the mileage all right so uh, some gallons well, some gallons does not need to be converted to double 
because the result will already be stored as double. It could convert it to double, it wouldn't make any difference though. Alright, so let's output the result in that right line. The mileage is, and we will store it. It's supposed to be rounded to. Uh, only to the nearest hundreds. So in other words, we only need uh, two number. I mean, two digits after the uh, after the point. So that would be. This will do. Like <laughs> the easy easy way out. Miles per gallon. And the placeholder will of course hold mileage. And we need to. Well, I need to. Uh, to also read line to be able to actually read the output. Mm, all right. Well, let's build and debug. Loading, loading, loading. Still loading. Maybe today. Oh, there it is. All right. Please enter miles driven for the trip number one. And let's say 10 miles. Is enter gallons used. I'll make it three so it's, we get a decimal. And now, it, now this is the sentinel that will ask press zero to stop entering values or any other key to continue. So I'll just press enter and it will automatically continue. Please enter mass driven for trip one. Wait a minute. It's not supposed to be trip one, it's supposed to be trip two. Uh, Oh, I forgot the counter. Oh well. Let's try it again. Yeah, we need to increase the counter because the counter will change for each uh, iteration of the loop. So let's try again. 10, 3, press and enter. And now we have trip 2. Let's say 20. Still only 3 gallons. And uh, we'll press. Let's say number three to continue. If it's not number zero, so we continue. And uh, let's say 30 and still three gallons. And I'll press zero to stop. And we have the result. The mileage is 6.67. All right, let's check it out. So I have uh, 10, 20, 30. So I have, uh, I have 60 miles. Divided by uh, three, oh, three, three and three and three. So that's nine, and it's six point six 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 six. And we're supposed to have it to the nearest hundreds, which it does. Point six seven. Well, all right. Well, it seems to be working. You can, of course, and you should do a little more testing. You can play with the sentinel. You know, like I said, this is just the easy way out. You can have a you know better messages like press Y to continue, press N not to continue to stop. Uh, if you press it something else, you can tell him only Y and N is allowed. Yeah, you know, and all these things like you would see on a, a actual programs. But this is an exercise that's supposed to only show a little bit of while loop, a sentinel-driven while loop, and some basic calculation and how to store data for each iteration. Uh, so it's not, like I said, we're just adding the miles driven to the sum miles each time the loop iterates and do the same with the gallons. All right. Okay, leave comments below. If, and um, hopefully you liked it, hopefully it helped you and I'll see you next video. Take care.